<laughs> Hello, welcome back to HGTV Handmade. We've always wanted to have a live-in photo booth for our Halloween party, and this year we're doing it. We're making a portable, yet super awesome, great for small spaces Halloween photo booth. All right, so our first step, we're going to open up a box and then cut two holes in it. And we're gonna use a mason jar lid uh, just for our center hole here. That's where you're gonna take the picture from or do your boomerang or whatever you wanna do. All right, and we're gonna draw the back, which is uh, where you will be seen from. I'm gonna do just a skull shape. Looks good. No bones about it. We want a little dimension, so we're gonna add an insert to have some levels and to create a little more depth. I'm gonna cut an oval out of this piece of cardboard. I love Halloween projects because I feel like you don't need to be precise if they come out a little janky. It's it seen as spooky. Yeah. yeah. Now we're gonna just paint everything. We're gonna paint the backs of the panels to look spooky and the rest of everything black. Before, after. Now it's time to embellish our panels. So uh, a little about like the construction of this. There's gonna be a back panel and then a front panel. And the front panel I'm working on, it's gonna have uh, skeletons all around it. Yes. And then I'm working on the back panel, very basic. I'm just uh, throwing some branches that I found at the craft store and just gluing them to the back here. Hopefully it will give the illusion that we're inside a spooky forest. Mm, of hell. Right? No, don't say that word. So I'm just taking my skeletons. I found these at the dollar store. And last year. Last year. <laughs> And some of them don't fit all the way around, so I'm just actually... And the coolest thing about this project is you can customize it to uh, anything that really is gonna fit your theme of your Halloween party. You can do fire panels or a, a graveyard or just kind of keep it whimsical and fun. Maybe yeah. find a cute um, Halloween pattern, fabric or paper. Yeah, you could do like a pumpkin patch for like a children's party. Yes, so many options. All right, I'm going to attach my two pieces with just a little hot glue. Looks good. Thank you. And now I guess we can start putting together the box. Awesome. Our box is looking pretty spooky. Before we seal the deal, we are gonna wanna test it just to make sure that everything is in place. Yep. Uh, you are gonna wanna use your phone to check it rather than your eye because uh, the phone is gonna look different than your eye. Now we're gonna seal it up. We got some spooky contact paper that we're gonna wrap the box with. We're also gonna throw some handles on the side so that you can hold it easily. All right, for our final step, we're just gonna add a little bit of whimsy by adding a plastic skeleton on top. He's gonna be holding a sign that says, here lies you. To really top it off, we're gonna add some LED lights inside. We're just taping them in and the remote controlled. We're using some blue and purple to really give it a spooky effect. Awesome, I love how it turned out. It's super spooky. Yes. Let us know what your theme for your photo booth would be in a comment below. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs>